going to show you how I converted my Demon Slayer Hayoris into fashionable outfits which I've worn in my Gurenga dance cover. Tanjiro! So I'm wearing a tube dress out of Tanjiro's Hayori in my dance cover. As a base, I have a long sleeve um, black shirt and then black shorts and I'm also wearing a pair of black mini boots. So this is Tanjiro's Hayori. No sewing, no cutting. I'm going to show you how I made that tube dress. I just wrapped it around my body like this. So one sleeve first and then overlap it with the rest of the Hayori. And then I used safety pins to hold them in place. There you go. The other sleeve is a bit long. So I will just fold it artistically in front of me and again made use of a safety pin to hold it in place. And to complete my outfit, I'm going to use my black girdle belt. It looks elegant, right? So that's it. That's how I made the tube dress. And Tanjiro's earrings to complete my outfit. And do take note that I'm also wearing Tanjiro's wig. I'm done with my outfit. Giyu! See how nice my outfit is? I'm wearing a black tutu skirt, black long socks, and then black spaghetti strap shirt as my base. And here is Giyu's Hayori. I can wear it like this, but it doesn't have any impact at all. And again, I'm going to wear my black girdle belt. I will not wear the other sleeve, I will just let it flow at the side and to hold it in place, the belt is needed. Okay, I just have to fix it well. As for the other sleeve so that it will look good, I'm going to insert it in my belt like this and just let it flow artistically at the side. There you go. It looks stylish, right? This is my favorite outfit, actually. And then I'm going to fix my wig, somehow imitating Giyu's um, hair. I'm also going to wear this neck glove, just to add some accent in my outfit. Nice! Shinobu! This is my second favorite outfit in my dance cover. As a base, I have a black tutu skirt again, a spaghetti strap shirt, and a pair of black mini boots. So this is Shinobu's Hayori. I can simply wear it like this, but it doesn't have an impact at all. So I'm not going to wear the other sleeve and just let it flow at the side, but to have a different style with Gia's outfit, I'm just going to pin the side of the Hayori together. making use of a safety pin again and to add shape and accent to my outfit I'm going to use the black girdle belt but if you'll notice I use it in a different way so that it will also look different from Gia's outfit so the diamond shape in the belt is at my back not in front of me very stylish I love it so as for my hair accessory, I have here Shinobu's butterfly. I'm going to use bobby pins to hold them in place. And good thing that I dyed my hair purple, so I don't have to wear a wig anymore. Zinetsu! So this is how I styled Zinetsu's Hayori in my dance cover. Notice that I'm also wearing a yellow wig to match Zinetsu's hair. And as a base, I have a black tutu skirt, long black socks, and a long sleeve black shirt. So again, wearing this uh, kind of style is a bit dull. So to add some accent, I'm going to wear again the black girdle belt. And that's it. My outfit is done. A stylish way to wear Zinetsu's Hayori. Nezuku, my favorite character. 
If you'll notice, there's not much um, you know, modification from Nezuku's original outfit because her Hayori is long and a bit thick and I need an outfit that will not hinder my movement when I'm dancing. So I just made a slight modification from her original outfit and this is the design that I was able to make. So I have a base which is a black short and a black spaghetti strap shirt and I'm also wearing a black mini boots. Notice that I'm also wearing Nezuku's wig. So I'll just tie it like this to have a different look from Nezuku's original hair. Okay, so I now have an artistic outfit of Nezuku. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video vlog. Kindly click the subscribe button and like this video.